we're going to be looking at the experiment to determine the speed of sound in air using standing waves set up in a closed pipe. A tuning fork of known frequency is vibrated at the open end of a closed pipe. Sound waves travel down the length of the pipe and is reflected at the water surface to produce a standing wave. The pipe length is adjusted until you hear the loudest sound. So we're trying to get the shortest pipe length that will give us the loudest sound so we will represent the first harmonic of standing wave in a closed pipe. The pipe length will equal to a quarter of a wavelength. So the wavelength will be four times the pipe length. And so we can use the equation V equals F lambda to determine the speed of sound in air, where F will be the frequency of the tuning fork and lambda will equal four times the pipe length. However, this method will not give you an accurate value of the speed of sound. And that's because the antinode actually occurs just above the end of the tube. And so an end correction factor is needed, which we will label C. So the pipe length L plus the end correction factor C will equal a quarter of a wavelength. As we do not know the value of the end correction factor, an alternative method would be to first measure the pipe length for the first harmonic, and that pipe length will be L1. We will increase the pipe length until we get the next harmonic, the length that will give us the next loudest sound, so that an antinode is occurring again at the end of the pipe. And this pipe length will equal L2. The difference between the pipe lengths L2 and L1 will equal the distance from one antinode to the next antinode, so that is half a wavelength. So the wavelength will equal two times the difference in pipe lengths. And then finally we will use the equation V equals F lambda to determine an accurate value of the speed of sound because this method has eliminated the end correction factor. And just a reminder, F is the frequency from the tuning fork.